Hey there, folks. Today we're going to play Graveyard Keeper. Just a, just a little bit to check it out. This is Graveyard Keeper under Rosetta. It, um, it actually <clears throat> had some fairly disappointing load times. Uh, I was kind of surprised. Maybe just because it's not optimized for... Uh, the M1 Mac, it, it's, it's a little slower to load. Maybe it was just because it was loading at the first time. Not entirely sure. But there's no data for it to have loaded, so I, I don't know where, where it came. But the initial loading of the game took a lot longer than I, I really think it should have. Not faulting the game. I just don't think it's uh, compatible with, obviously, Apple Silicon. Okay, so I got the sound turned way down. I think I'm going to have to turn it up a little bit. Because I am not... Okay, so let's turn up some, some sound, we'll put it this at 80. That's a little better. Okay, so WASD to move, E to open, I haven't played this in forever, so I don't know. <clears throat> okay, sleep. Let's go uh, dig up Jerry first. Where is he? Oh, follow the bouncing. Okay, so, so far the performance isn't horrible once it's running. Everything seems to be going okay. Okay, so <clears throat> appropriate to the name, we now have a corpse. Pick up the corpse, take it to the morgue. Okay, so all right, so this is as far as we can go. Get a little 
little bit of flesh. Looks like we got everything we need off of it. So let's take it with us. And then we gotta go bury it. I kind of like this game. I never got to play through it. We'll just leave that right here. So I have to go to my house? No, I need to go right here. I'll just put it right there. And we need to build a, oh, I can't build a flower bed. Job done. Uh, I guess not. Uh-oh, boss is here. Uh, everyone in this game is such a joy. Location name, location, graveyard quality, church appeal. Okay. So we got to repair the graves to increase the overall quality. All right, we don't need to ask any more questions right now. Yeah. I can get a gathering stick. All right, that's awesome. Anyway. We'll just take these. Now we got tools. So there's our appeal and whatnot. We could just exhume them all and then we'd have a great empty graveyard. Using up all of our energy clearing these, but that's okay. Can we clear this? 
You need a technology. You need a technology. Let's read the sign. Cultist activity. Oh man. Okay, so this one's not bad. It just needs a stone cross. Looks like a fence. That improved our graveyard a little bit. And a little bit more. I feel like he's waiting for something, maybe for us to actually get this cleaned up. Yeah, get some out of repair kits or something. Anyway, it's telling me to go over here. So we're getting a little lag, not a huge amount. Not really a much delay or problem. This game isn't terribly graphically intense. Wheat farm. Well, that's kind of a nice pause there. All right, so the performance seems adequate. I mean, it's not going to knock your socks off. It's certainly not going to uh, make you uh, make you super happy. Movement smooth, not anything too bad. Just moving around a little to check things out. Conversations work well. stamp, huh?
Well, he's got some interesting items. I think we need to play this. I mean, you know. All right, so it's a little hitchy in parts. Not terrible. It's not anything that's going to make you completely regret it. But, I'm a little concerned with how it's going to run under crossover because then it will be emulated on emulator under an emulator. <clears throat> and that's certainly not going to be a lot of fun. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. This is the blacksmith. Oh, graveyard. Sweet home. All right, so nothing on the map has a... Uh, marker and there's no you are here all right let's it's not seen the place for a blacksmith it's very little direction in this game i remember but it really doesn't need it i mean it's not terribly hard Town loads up well, people move well, game moves well, as well as I remember it. Nothing uh, super out of the ordinary. All right, so this looks good. Let's pass it over to Crossover and see what happens. And uh, that'd that'd be that'd be a wrap on this. It does work. Um, and I don't know. I always wanted to play through this game, and I have an opportunity to do so with some of the expansion packs. So I might take it up on that after we do this and and do some off and on playthroughs of this just to check it out once again the purpose of this video is to show you what does and does not run well on the m1 apple silicon this game does seem to run pretty well if there's something you'd like to see me try definitely let me know uh, i actually got held up trying to uh, get in on the diablo 2 resurrected weekend but that game did not run at all. It was just a beta, so that could be something to do with it. And then um, spent most of the day trying to get Quake Remastered to run and didn't have much luck with that either on any platform. So we'll keep trying. But if there's something you'd like me to try yourself, leave a comment down below and I'll see about getting to it. Thanks for watching. Come back and check out how this works under Crossover and Parallels. I'll see you then.